Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be learning to play the project in Godot 3. We'll start with playing the project, setting up our main scene, setting up a camera, and then we'll finish with play settings. To play our project, we need to come up to the right hand corner next to the build settings, and you'll see a play icon. And when we click on that, if you haven't saved your scene yet, we'll get a warning that says this scene has never been saved. You can click on yes from here, or you can just go to scene and save scene. And from here, you wanna give your scene a recognizable name. So once your scene is saved, we can come back up to that play icon and click on it, but we'll get yelled at again. And I'll say, no main scene has ever been defined. Select one. You can change it later in the project settings. So you can set your main scene from here, or we can go directly to the project settings. So we wanna to go to project, project settings, and we wanna to go to run. And in here, you'll see main scene. If you click on the folder icon, you can select the scene that we just saved. Now if we go to our play icon and click on it, our game will run. If you get a Windows security alert, everything is fine, just click allow access. So we can play our game, but now we have another issue. We can't see anything. Everything is just gray. So what we need to do is we need to add a camera to our scene. So if we come over to our scene and we click on the node button, we want to search for camera. And in this situation, we don't want a camera 2D, we want just the 3D camera. So once we add that to our scene, we're gonna to wanna to pull it back a little bit so that we'll actually be able to see something. We don't want our camera intersecting with any of the geometry. Now if you hit play again, you'll see the scene that you've been building. Now as far as options available to you for the 3D camera, you have the transform modes. And then if you watch the viewport display options video, some of the settings are similar to that, like the near and far clip plane, the field of view, and the projection being perspective and orthographic. In the viewport, you'll see this red dot. If you click and drag on that, you'll adjust your field of view. Now above field of view, you'll see current. So if you have multiple cameras in your scene, you can use this option to decide which one is the main camera at that time. Everything above projection, we'll be covering in later videos. With the camera selected, in the left-hand corner of the viewport, you'll see preview. If you click on this, you'll be able to preview and adjust your camera without playing the game. Now in the 2D viewport, the camera 2D is a lot different than the 3D camera. When you play the project from the 2D viewport, it already has a camera built in behind the scenes. You're gonna wanna come over to the inspector and you're gonna wanna turn current on. And now when you play the project, you'll be seeing everything from your camera. So before we move on to the play settings, I wanna cover playing the project one more time. So you can hit the play icon or you can hit F5 on the keyboard to play the project. If you hit F6, that'll play the scene. You can pause the project or you can hit F7 and you can stop the project by clicking on the icon or hitting F8. Now the last thing I wanna cover are the play settings and there's two different areas for it. There's the editor settings and there's the project settings. So in the editor settings under run and window placement, this is where you can adjust where and how the play window shows up. Next, we have the project settings. In your project settings, if you go down to display and window, you won't necessarily be able to set your aspect ratio, but you can set your resolution, whether it's resizable, if it has a border, if you want it to be full screen, and if you want it to always be on top. Now your test width and height, by default it's set to zero, so it won't do anything. If you change these numbers, your play window will match the resolution of the test width and height. Now the normal width and height is what your game will eventually build as. You might want to do this if your end game's resolution is dramatically bigger than what your working machine is. All right, guys, we will revisit aspect ratios and resolution in future videos, but this should cover playing the project. If you guys liked this video and you thought it was helpful, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.